Today let's talk about how to tip 12% better in the game of volleyball. Let's get right into it immediately. If you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. My name is Mitch. I coach volleyball. I'm an assistant at Marymount University, D3 program here in the DMV area. I played a lot. I still play a lot. I love coaching. And this channel is all about providing you with all that how-to volleyball content, as well as tons of behind the scenes footage and film from our Marymount season. Thanks for tuning in to another video. This one's super important for the game of volleyball, knowing where and when to tip. Let's dive right into it. First things first, knowing where to tip. The full volleyball court is 16 meters by eight meters. It's a big court, plenty of places to go with the ball. Where do you go with the ball? Now, since it's such a big court, the defense is gonna adjust accordingly based on the type of play, the type of set, what's going on. So there's never going to be a specific area that's always gonna work every single time because deep, good defenses know how to adjust, they know how to move. So you always have to be creative and be diverse in where you're tipping the ball to keep the defense on their toes, keep them off balanced. So in this video, we're breaking down five different types of tips that you can do to be better in your game, to score more often, and not only that, but also to know where and when to implement them at different points in the game. Starting with the first one, the power tip. All right, the power tip is the most effective tip in the game of volleyball. This action is when the attacker forcibly pushes that ball into the blocker's hands, preferably if it's one of the pins, so one of the outsides or opposites, one of their outside hands. That's gonna be your most effective tip because most blockers aren't gonna be super solid up there. There's some that are pretty consistent, but most are gonna have exposed hands, exposed fingers, and areas that you can target that can be really effective. In this clip here, we have an out of system ball. Great touch from Mason to keep this ball alive. And Esteban is sitting about six to eight feet inside the court here. Doesn't have enough time for a full transition, so he just takes a couple steps out here. And then that ball is quick enough for him to go up and power push this ball right off the blocker's right arm. Really the technique here is to just power that ball right on the edge of that block. If you can get if you can get the side of that outside arm, you're going to be in good shape and you're typically going to find that tool. So when in doubt, when you don't have that full transition, throw that ball off the outside hand and swipe it to get that that powerful tip and a good tool. Here's another example here from our match against Juniata, and you can see we have kind of a scramble play here where Camden goes up going for the tip and the outside smartly pulls his hands here. Against smarter blockers, you're not gonna wanna get tooled, so you will go up and pull those hands if you see that tip coming, trust the defense behind you. But Camden's still able to throw this ball off the middle blocker's hands for a tool. And this is really just a power tip. Like he's going with force, he's trying to go into the block on purpose, and he's able to, to get an easy free point here. This is your best bet in tipping and, and is gonna give you the most success overall. All right, number two is the recycle tip, and this is also similar to the power tip, similar in the sense that you are being pretty forcible with that ball. The recycle, you're gonna be a little bit softer so maybe 60 70 75 percent force into this tip so you're not giving it full force 60 70 percent but with the intention of trying to go directly into the block on purpose to bring that ball back onto your side you can see Devin on this play on a tighter set not as much range for him to attack this ball so he goes right into the block and we get an easy recycle with good coverage here from Will and Josh and then another tip from Devin leads to a kill here. But this first one is just a smart, simple play right into the hands. Again, kind of targeting that outside hand, but it works effectively as a recycle. We get another good option and a kill out of it. Love to see it. All right, so in one, one and two, we covered 
power tip, recycle tip, which are basically two tips going into the hands directly. Now, I know there's a lot, there's a lot more court to cover out there. So one of the first other places you can go on the tip is directly over the block. Now, I say this in saying that the best person to target when going over the block is a blocker that is probably has the shortest reach. Sometimes it's the shortest blocker, sometimes it's the shortest jumper. Circumstances might change, but finding that shorter blocker going over them is gonna be a lot easier because you don't have to go as high, gives the defense less time behind them to react. Um, typically gonna find more success out of that. You can see on this play here, tipping from the back row here, Devin goes right over this shorter blocker here and find success. The libero touches this ball, but he puts it in a good enough spot with low enough trajectory to find the kill. Still tipping over the block, you wanna try and target that shorter blocker if you can. Part of tipping the ball is about setting it up. So sometimes people come right out the gate and they're tipping, they're tipping, they're tipping. On every bad set, they're tipping. But you have to be strategic about when you're gonna tip the ball. Sometimes I like to do it after a really hard kill. You get the defense on their heels. Sometimes you get a couple kills against the defense, whether it's tools, whether it's a hard driven attack. And then that's when you set up your, your kills when they're, the defense is sagged back in the court and the blockers are really pressed to try and get that block. So you have to be smart about it. It's not gonna work all the time. It's not supposed to work all the time. Get some easy free points, extend the rallies on tough sets. That's really what it's all about. Number four, we have the slow tip, which is some people might see this type of tip and think, oh, he's just going over the block. But this is really a variation of tipping or a high enough jumper where you're contacting that ball above the net and then just barely letting it hit your hands. You can see in this clip here, as Grayson sets this ball out to the pin to Diego and immediately after he touches it, he lets go. So that ball falls right to the ground right away. And for a perimeter deep defender like that, when you contact the ball that high and that close to the net, it's really hard for them to get to, get to that ball. The only way this really works is if this blocker isn't committed enough and can take this ball in the air on the way down. Otherwise, this really slow tip, short tip, whatever you wanna call it, delayed tip is gonna work a lot. Really just subtly tapping that ball, letting it, letting it descend with all the gravity on the ball, let it do the work, and really finding those edges around the blocks are gonna give you um, positive results. All right, the last tip I'm gonna cover is the deep tip. This is when you push that ball deep into the court. This is definitely an option, but I wouldn't have it as my first, second, or even third option. I think number one would be the power tip, number two would be the slow tip, and number three would be the recycle as options one, two, and three. If you find yourself in a situation where the defense is digging everything, they have a really short defense, they tug, they cover well, um, this is an option for you to try and stretch them out a little bit. You can see in this clip here, Camden gets an inside lower ball and he just throws this ball over the defender in zone one. The six defender is able to close and get a great touch on this ball. And that's really the reason why I'm not as fond with that deep tip. In the college game, this type of tip doesn't work as much unless you have this perimeter six defender really sagging to the opposite side of the court. College players are just too athletic, they're too big, and they're typically able to get that 10 out of 10 times. So just something to consider, not saying don't do it, but just be cautious of the times when you actually pull it out of the bag. That's all the types of tips, different spots you can use them from. Didn't really cover a whole lot on middles here, but middles, I like the power dunk for middles. So that's really on a, on a tough set, just going straight down with it. You'll see a lot of times the middles, when middles tip, it's because the ball's too low and there's not a whole lot you can do in those scenarios. I like being creative, going left and right, away from the blocker as much as possible. One area that I don't love going over the block is right in the middle of the court over the middle's head because a lot of defensive schemes focus on coverage behind the block. So that's really not gonna work that often, but be creative. If I have one takeaway from this video, 
video, it's really try and focus on that power tip, tipping into hands, being aggressive, finding the outside exterior hand, identify the blockers that aren't pressed well, that don't have their thumbs up. Any blocker that looks like this, go right into their hands. You're gonna find easy, easy kills. And that's what coaches want. Less heavy arm swings, mix them in there, have a lot of success. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Appreciate the support as always. Love in the comments on all these posts recently. Keep them up. Let me know what you want next time, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.